Politics has given us plenty of characters lately, but underneath the drama, it's important not to lose sight of what's really important. Here's Simon Bates with the view from across the pond. Have you noticed how these days politicians seem to be back in the schoolyard behaving like a bunch of kids? Even the handshake is a political opportunity. Here in Britain, we're just a week away from our general election. It ought to be the ultimate celebration of democracy, but what do we get? Yes, I'm asking you a question. Doesn't we, it show we should have had face-to-face -face no, debates? I'm not interested in talking to this questions. chap. He doesn't have oh, right. a face to face yes, Banality, insults and sound bites. The favourite for the top job is our current Prime Minister, Theresa May. Oh, the things she's done for England. She's trying to present herself as a latter-day Margaret Thatcher, but she hasn't got the class. Running against her is a perfectly pleasant and utterly forgettable man with a beard. Jeremy Corbyn is Bernie Sanders' light. He's further to the left than most previous British party leaders, and he'll probably end up just like Bernie. So, Theresa May looks like she's going to have the job of leading Britain out of the European Union in the next two years. But I just wish that our public representatives had half the style of a vulnerable 23-year-old girl from Boca Raton. On Sunday, Ariana Grande will be back in Manchester just a few days after the murderous Salman Abedi destroyed the lives of 22 young people after one of her concerts. That she's shocked and probably frightened is a given, but she's bravely returning to the city to play a benefit gig for the injured and the families of the victims, when no one would have expected her to do so. That's class. And that's the view from across the pond. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in London.